At the end of the Gulf War, fleeing Iraqi forces set ablaze 650 Kuwaiti oil wells across the desert. The scale of the disaster is vast. Six million gallons of oil every day spew up through wellheads and ignite, pouring massive amounts of thick, toxic smoke into the atmosphere. Environmentalists warn of global pollution of the sky and ocean, adverse weather patterns, and a seriously disrupted food chain. As each day passes, the damage to the planet mounts. British explosive experts move in first, sweeping the hot desert surface for live explosives. You can see the trip wires and stakes, but we can't see the, yeah, yeah. the actual wires yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. Working with simple equipment, and at times with their bare hands, they risk their lives to clear a safe pathway for the rest of the team. Before fleeing, the Iraqi army has laced the desert with landmines to slow efforts to shut down the fires. I just remove the detonator. Each mine must be delicately disarmed. And that's the, mar the mine disarmed now. Next, charges trigger any live ordnance left from the Basically, fighting. The charge close to, but not quite touching. Finally, with roads built across the cleared desert, firefighters head straight into the heart of the inferno. The danger is enormous. Temperatures reach 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt steel. Months of perilous work pass. This is the midday sun. Often the smoke blackened sky hides the sun. One by one, troubleshooters extinguish the flaming gushers. After nearly all of the 650 fires are out, one stubborn well remains untamed. Last one. We'll get her. Firefighters move in on their last challenge. fails to quench this last giant blaze. Remarkably, the fires have claimed no fatalities so far. Teamwork has been the key to survival for 10 exhausting months. Now watching out for each other is even more important. The troubleshooters bring in special chemicals designed to neutralize the flames. The chemical retardant finally smothers the flames and a firefighter moves in. Suddenly, the fire roars back to life. He barely escapes with his life. Explosive experts resort to a riskier weapon, dynamite. They hope it will rob the fire of the oxygen it needs to keep burning. There's 50 pounds of dynamite in this one. 50? You better put 100. The bulldozer operator maneuvers the volatile explosive. He must drive blind, relying on hand signals from his partners. He lowers the barrel of dynamite directly into the heart of the raging fire. Finally, the last fire is out. But now the men must cap the pillar of black oil gushing from the wellhead.
they finish the job using a special capping device known as a Christmas tree. After a full 10 months, they have averted a global disaster without losing a single life. <laughs>